buying more. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Mo Dioxazine. Today is going to be a really fun video for me and I'm looking a little... A little crazy i don't usually have my hair up like this in my videos but it's for good reason i don't know if you guys can tell but i am in need of a very major glow up i have an event tonight and it is 9 57 right now so last night i did a whole deep cleaning of the scalp i did a hair deep conditioner did the whole shebang and then I straightened my whole head of hair. I'm gonna lie, it takes me like an hour and a half to straighten my hair because like, your girl got a lot of hair. The clock actually started last night, but we're gonna finish everything today and it's gonna be a lot of stuff, you guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna bang through all of this because I am gonna be put together for my event tonight. No question. Definitely recommend this for DIY girlies, for people who like doing stuff by themselves, for people who need like kind of like that instant change. Um, this is perfect for you. But first, let's get started on some press-on nails. Hey, if you're wondering where I got these, I got them from Shein. I did a couple of changes to them to kind of elevate the look. Like, I love how it's blue on one hand and pink on the other. It's so cute. But let me show you guys what I use. So, 91% alcohol, cuticle remover, nail glue, and here are some of the tools that I use. So this first step is going to make your application last longer. We're going to go into our cuticles with this product and I'm going to use this kind of like spatula tool to push back my cuticles. You can see kind of the gunk building up and it starts getting opaque. That's when you know you're doing it right. I love this process. It's so satisfying to see all the dirty stuff get off your nails. Just use a simple towel to wipe off so that you can now have a clean plate to work with. And then I'm going to go in with this this buffer to take off the shine from my nails. I know some of you guys were telling me to just do a traditional nail file but honestly I feel like that is way too rough for my nail bed and it's just unnecessary especially when you have brittle nails like myself. And the last part of our prep work is to go in with some alcohol to wipe off the nail bed. This is to dehydrate the nail and clean off any debris so that you can apply your glue next. So I'm using Beauty Secrets nail glue. Holy grail you guys. This is like freaking super glue and my nails last so long with this. I'm very generous. I cover my entire nail plate with this, even the corners. Just press firmly, very firmly for about 10 to 15 seconds and that is it y'all. And I'm going to do the rest of my nails off cam so that we save some time. But to elevate your looks, you need to add some rings. I picked out these two silver rings and I'm gonna wear one on each hand. And don't forget you guys, put some lotion on your hands. Moisturized hands look the best. And that is it. Simple, easy DIY. You can do this yourself and it really looks like you went to a salon. I mean, come on. In my area, these will go for like 120. are like what the hell why did she do her nails first and honestly if i wasn't filming a video um yeah i would probably do my nails last but i want you guys to enjoy them as much as possible throughout this video so i decided to do this first which means a lot of the stuff that i'm gonna do has to accommodate these nails but that's okay because I want to say I'm pretty, pretty good at using my long nails. These are so freaking cute. So kawaii, perfect for the spring. I, we're going to do my eyebrows. A little close up. These joints are very grown in. So honestly, plucking your eyebrows is not for the week. But because I've been doing this for so long, um, it doesn't hurt as much anymore. Let me sit here next to the window so you guys can see a little bit better. I have my little mirror. Y'all, this is what I'm working with. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They've grown in so much. I haven't plucked them in like three weeks. But here we are. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy those videos on TikToks where people pop pimples, pluck hair, remove blackheads. Like, it's so satisfying to me. So here we are up close and personal so you guys can see me removing the hair. I don't have a sketch that I follow. I literally just wing it and pray to the gods, you guys. This is me 
with my eyebrows done it is cleaned up looks great right now except you guys can see like where the puffiness is so usually when i pluck my eyebrows i wait like 30 minutes before i even go out because like y'all i look crazy it looks like i have a really bad tan now that we have that done what i'm gonna do is start sugar scrubbing while i'm doing that i'm gonna put my wax warmer um on high so that my wax gets warm by the time i get out of the shower because your girl is gonna wax like almost everything i'm gonna wax my armpits and then i'm also gonna wax the girly down there and what i'm gonna do this time is actually shave my legs just because i don't think i have enough time to wax the full body so but anyways let me bring you guys to the bathroom i don't know if you guys watched my last video but it was a nighttime routine where i introduced this item to you guys honestly i loved it so much that i got a second one i'm very on top of my sugar scrubbing and i sugar scrub everywhere on my body literally from the back of my neck all the way down to my toes i still have this much which is you know quite a bit still and definitely go through my entire body with this i always use an exfoliating glove i think it's super good to wear this especially with the long nails too so that you protect your nails but honestly nothing special for a shaver but this one is the flamingo brand i change up from either the venus or the flamingo let's get started i'm gonna do a full body shower and all that because after this i'm gonna be waxing the girly and I'll show you guys the products that I use. I have about five hours to do everything, which I think I can do. This is the infamous wax warmer. The brand is Domi. She works great. She gets everything super hot. This is the popsicle stick, a little bit run down, but I just use some craft sticks. You can get so much more for the same price instead of going and getting wax sticks and they work the same you guys witch hazel this helps me kind of like clean everything and it also helps moisturize the skin while it's at it baby powder it just helps the wax stick onto your skin and pull the hair better and these are the wax beads that i use researched the brand and i wanted something for sensitive skin and something that pulls coarse hair this is surreal i think the blue one i didn't get to show you guys this last time um i'm gonna have to find the name again because it's a little bit broken up but this is an ingrown hair after spray so i spray a little bit on the area kind of wipe it down this works for my coochie area also so yeah let me check if my wax is warmed The wax is now warm, so I'll check back in with you guys probably in an hour and a half because coochie area, it takes so long to wax. You literally have to work up the courage every strip because it hurts like hell. Okay, now that I'm done waxing, we're gonna move on to one of my favorite parts, which is a facial. You're gonna feel so, so amazing after this. Of course, remove all rings. We don't want anything getting in the way and make sure you disinfect your hands very, very thoroughly because you're gonna be touching your face a lot. To do my first cleansing, I'm gonna use this brush from Vanity Planet and it really gets into the pores. I love this thing. It's very gentle on my skin. It has two modes especially if you want a more aggressive clean. Oh, and the cleanser I'm using is from Fenty Skincare. For the second cleanse, I'm gonna use one from Fresh. It's a very gentle cleanser, and I'm gonna work it in with my hands, my fingers, get in the nooks and cracks. 
After you double cleanse, now you have a safe canvas so that you can remove some blackheads. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools from Vanity Planet. This is an ultrasonic exfoliating spatula and it has three modes, but we're going to be using exfoliate today. And I'm going to just let you guys see how much power this tool has at extracting my blackheads. Like, this is after a double cleanse, you guys crazy but if you do have stubborn blackheads like myself or whiteheads this is an amazing tool to add to your skin regime you can do this once or twice a week let's move on to a facial steamer to rehydrate your face for some skincare products i usually sit under this machine for like 10 15 minutes honestly this is like me time i'm not rushing here especially because i have really really dry skin and lol just admiring my nails here but we're gonna move into our first toner which is also gonna be from fenty i take a few drops and spread it on my hands then i pat firmly onto my skin and this is the same for the next three products which is hyaluronic acid and then a serum i press firmly into my skin i like this method because i feel like it penetrates my skin a lot more but yeah everything's going to be linked down below in case you guys are wondering or interested in the items and lastly i'm going to go in with this lotion that i got from my best friend i've loved it ever since it's very lightweight and it definitely gives you that glow which is something i always strive for and maybe you guys can relate to me but these masks massive amount of free time don't come easily to me so I really just try to enjoy myself when I can but this is the final look you guys my skin feels and looks amazing I love it okay so I'm back in my room now literally at the moment that you guys have been waiting for honestly this is my favorite part of this video because I have been waiting so long to try on these I got hair extensions. I am basically gonna do some clip in hair extensions. I want a new look, you guys. I haven't dyed my hair in like six years. I'm kind of like on this natural hair journey and yeah, I don't want to be messing with my hair. I don't want to be putting random colors in my hair. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is everything that came into the box. So the brand is Goo Goo hair extensions brand. This is 100% Remy human hair. Just an FYI, my hair type is mostly 3B. Some parts of my hair like in the front is 3A. I decided to get one set of the 150 grams. This is in the light blonde balayage. Is it balayage? I think it is. These are 24 inches. Chose one of their longest lengths cute i think that this is a pretty good match <laughs> i think these are gonna be super super cute oh my gosh oh my god i'm so excited they also came with some instructions and i feel like i should probably figure out if this is heat safe yes heat safe and it also holds curls okay let's get into it i'm gonna lay these hair down on my bed so i know you know where is what there are nine pieces of hair so we have one four clip-ins two three clip-ins four two clip-ins and then two one clip-ins if you guys are hair extension savvy you understand what the heck i'm talking about this is how my hair looks like it's about like breast length for the most part my length usually stays around here if you guys see me with longer hair you guys it is hair extensions majority of the time first thing i'm gonna do is section off my hair these sections are gonna be about half an inch to three quarters inch apart so that i can fit all nine pieces and really blend them in this is how it looks like with just one weft in and these clips are really strong you guys high quality so it's really not gonna go anywhere unless you really force it but anyways I'm going to continue doing this throughout my whole head of hair and then I'll show you guys the final look. Minimal shedding. There's like five strands of hair in here. I mean, you cannot tell me this doesn't look like my hair. I honestly like this look already. So straight out of the bag, I like the little bit of curl that it has on the bottom. It is pretty much styled 
I think I am going to straighten my hair just a little bit, like kind of like face framing just to elevate the look. But let me check back in with you guys because I'm actually going to go do my makeup real quick. And this is not a makeup tutorial, but if you guys want one, let me know down below. Before I go, I do want to let you guys know that there is going to be a code. The code is MO15, so MO15 for 15% off. Let them know I sent you. I'm going to be buying more. Your girl almost needs this like all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? everything is done i'm so excited for tonight's event literally showing up and showing out thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i love making these videos for you guys if you guys have any more video suggestions for me please leave a comment down below and let me know but until next time i will see you guys later bye